Just a youngin' do it all for the G I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental We tryna build like a king I'm sitting down with G Connect, gotta think I'm spitting the game with bass I got a shout out to D Just a youngin' do it all for the G I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental We tryna build like a king Sit down with G Connect, gotta think I'm spitting game with the bass I got a shout out to D Clack, clack, what's happening, y'all? This your boy, Mitchie Schlick. I'm here with the homeboy, D, and the homie, g 2 B. Yeah, we're keeping it all the way gangster on the G-Connect show. Act like you know, homie. If you ain't fuck with them, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah, that. Straight out of Southeast Dago. Logan Ann. Clack, clack. Wes, 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 and though. Yeah, we tapped in, baby. We tapped in with who? The Generation Conversation, man. Y'all need to be a part of the convo, you heard me? Hey, look, shout out G2Beats. My boy Bill blasting them over there, putting in that work. You heard me? Hey, look, y'all need to tap in. Generation Conversation, the G Connect. Subscribe to him on YouTube. You heard me? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. What it do, folks? It's your boy, OG2B. I'm your homeboy, D Nell. What's happening? And we are Generation Conversation Network, better known as G Connect. G -Connect. And today, we got the East Side legend, Notorious. You know what I'm saying? Project nigga. You know what I'm saying? Original, you know, second generation, you know, rider, you know, trio, you know, a real one, you know. <laughs> and the list goes on and on and on, man. It <laughs> keep going, man, if he chose to. But in anywho, you know, I know, man. It's Nino Cappuccino in the building, man. AK Money Hunter BJ, man. The character is buried, man, at the moment. He's retired, man. But I'm here, man. As you know, man, the CEO himself, man. Two Trill West, Coffee Shop Productions, Paper Chase ENT. You feel me? And Cappuccino Films Inc., man. Urban Novels, man. What it do, G Connect? It's a pleasure, man, being the builder with my guys, man. D Dale, man. Shout out to the Detroit family out there, man. Straight out to D Town, man. Straight out, man. Let's do this, man. We in the building, baby. Hey, man. Hey, I appreciate the way you took over that right there. That was, I, I like that, dog. Cause I, hey, hey, I was gonna say, I, I was caught between which one I wanted to go first, you know, cappuccino <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying, the project, man. But then I had it, you know, I want that. And then you just, hey, I like that. Hey, good luck, good luck. He, he do this though. He do this yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Man. See, I'm still a rookie at this shit. Now, I, I ain't got a problem with that, man. You know, niggas got to help pick me up sometimes. Like, nigga, hold on, you, you you got too much of a late delay going up and it's too much space, too much quiet space up in there. So, yeah, you know. You know but anyway, out there, TV Land, man, shout out to TV Land, man. All, all those out there, man, that taps in and support us, man. You already know, ROE is in the building, man. Rules of engagement, man. If you ain't tapped in, you ain't subscribed, man, go hit that share like button, man. Tap in, subscribe at ROE, man. Also, subscribe at G Connect, man. Hit that like and share button, man. These two right here, man, they building a new platform, man, up and coming, man. Don't sleep. Whatever you fucking do, don't sleep, bro. Man. Because of real ones. We coming, homie, no matter what. You can't stop what's real. And that's the trip, man, because today, man, while I sit here on the platform with you, man, and we just collectively kicking dialogue, I want to kick this dialogue off. First of all, Bill and D by saying, man, have you guys noticed, and this has been going on for the last past few years, but it has really, it has really, really got heavy on us. And I sit back and I was watching a video one of the homies from out of beat by Watts. I don't really know his name, but he was a G from out of beat by Watts and he was giving condolence and giving props to the little homie beat of uh, little homie Bop from Black Peace Stone. I mean, rest in peace, Bop. It's the young homie right there, silent on the soldier. And he was talking about, you know, um something that Bob had said when Bob was like, um, uh, but it seemed like um the fake niggas has started this trend. Like it's this fake ass trend that's going on. And this trend is to eliminate real individuals, no matter what coast, by coastal, east, west, north, south. If you're a real one and you from that area, from your area, from that turf, it seems like it's a new trend that's going on now, a new wave that everything that's real, we're going to do everything possible to sabotage it and get it out the way. They name, their reputation, who they are, fuck what they've done in the past. Fuck who they are. We want to get rid of these some bitches because as far as we're concerned, we fake, we liars, we bullshit, but we are real. What kind of shit is that, my niggas? Have you really noticed that wave? And Ben noticed that shit and been asking everybody the same thing because the shit is crazy. <clears throat> Everywhere you go, like you can you can see here and prove the realest shit ever to somebody 
and then three people come and tell one, you know what I'm saying, one lie together, and they will believe all of that shit because three people said the same bullshit, and I just sat here and showed you what's up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that don't make sense. I, I've been trying to figure that shit out for a long time and trying to help these young ones from 18 to 25 like understand the difference and stuff like that by showing them different ways of, of thinking and, and, and life and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So you don't get caught up in the bullshit to think that's what it, that's what's up. You know? Right, right. <clears throat> So, 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 Bill, what's your take on it, Bill? I, my take on it is, I, I see it as a different point of view now as a, what's, what, what it breaks down to me as a generational thing, bro. It's just generational, all, all the, them, 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 them concepts and everything you just spoke on, that's different generations. Like in, early on in my podcast, in the beginning, I, I broke, I brought up the, the word shame. That has a lot to do with what you're saying right now. If you think about it, shame is gone, bro. There's no more shame. At least shame was in a code. It was part of a code. Nigga didn't want to do something to shame himself. Shame was anything disloyal. Shame was anything un unright that wasn't, you know what I'm saying? That Not wasn't ethical. Ethical wasn't, you know, you didn't, you know, motherfuckers went from doing it. You got to understand now it privacy is no longer now. Everything is off face value right then and there. It got to be seen. It don't have value now to the average consumer if they can't see it. Whether it's real or fake, they need to see something. And if you get three motherfuckers saying the same bullshit, that's giving them a different, a realer visual to a motherfucker that's showing, one motherfucker showing some real shit that, and then you out, you know, it's like, in my opinion, it's like, when. We, I, I use that in the same scenario with the generation for us, the word pause. Nigga, we grew up in an era where we never had to justify shit that we were saying to say no pause, my nigga. I'd never be talking to you and you ask me, blood, which one of these you want? My nigga, you want this one or that one? Give me the big one, blood. You know what I'm saying? And we going about our conversation. You gonna hand me the big one, we gonna keep it moving, my nigga. I ain't gotta say pause. The fuck, what I'm saying pause for? Cause I said, I want the big one. What is, what, is, what is Paul's for? What does that mean? Oh, that's that new generation. That's that new generation. I mean, they, they looking out for the alphabet community, you know what I'm saying, by not trying to offend them by shit that they say or not trying to have somebody else think that no, they're baby. with the uh, alphabet community by saying Paul's. And it's like, because we from a different area, we're trying to figure out like you is, like, why, why the fuck would you need to say that? So is that is that saying, in essence, is, is that like, a word they use to say stop, like no, no, it's the word they use to say no homo. Like I'm saying right, something, right. I'm saying something that can be taken by anybody that's gay as ooh, or, that's like like good good example. Like I I, I had a, a conversation where I said I referenced it, I made a reference to it as a gator. Uh, somebody made a reference to it as a gator to me. You know what I'm saying? A radar. The gay community has a gator. The gang bang community, we, we are gang ex gang members. We have a, a, gang, a gang radar, my nigga. I don't give a fuck where you at. If a nigga on the other side of the room saying, cuz, you're gonna look over there and give him at least some kind of attention to, to, to observe who the fuck that is. And because now he put himself by saying, cuz. Now you gotta, now in your own frame, you gotta ID if this nigga's a gang member or some out of state nigga that just using the word cuz. Or some bust ass nigga that just saying cuz because everybody else say cuz. You know what I'm saying? But it's your it's your instinct as a gang member coming up in the, you know, that's not what you represent today, but it's still embedded in you. Nigga, it don't matter where you at. The, the whole point is to stop somebody them from thinking that you are so now something. So now, like, like, like here, here's another terminology of it. So why the fuck would you say, hey, cuz, oh, uh, I'm not affiliated, you know. You know, or hey, bud, I'm not affiliated. Yeah, it's like no banger. I ain't no banger. <laughs> when niggas say, hey, cuz, I ain't no banger. You know, because I said cuz, don't miss, don't misunderstand me saying cuz as me being gangbanger. Right. The same thing they say when they say some, some old slick shit. Like them boys on your ass. Them boys on your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, nigga, we know what you're talking about. But now, in the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, you. Yeah, and, you, and, and if you embrace that shit, like, well, yeah, I'm waiting on them niggas. Come on. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, you talking about some real life shit, but now somebody else will twist your words up. So now, so in order motherfuckers these days from the 30 and up. Because of the internet, because how they can snip shit out and do what they do, they can easily put them words up there and you know what I'm saying? And you can say some 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 other shit. <clears throat> and they, you never said no, but if you got that footage somewhere that said you said no homo, then that justifies you. It's like it's a whole bunch of other but now who has who has conversations like that? I mean, out our no community. Homo. Our, our community, we don't. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the Steve, the same motherfuckers are putting fingernail polish on. Same motherfuckers wearing leggings and lugs and- Wait, hold on. Mm. You just said the fingernail polish. Tell me this, Nino. Have you heard about dog coming out with the fingernail polish? His own line of fingernail online polish? Online fingernail polish. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to answer that question, D. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to answer that question, but at the same time, it's, I, I like this. I, I like that we go in here and we open it up this can of worms for this topic because it need to be fucking addressed and talked about from real men, real fucking kings. And fuck whoever don't like it, whoever got a problem with it, fuck them. But it needs to be addressed. First and foremost, I want to back up a second, going back into reference to what Bill just said. Um, we're, we're not specifically, we're not addressing and talking about the LGBTQ community community altogether. No, no, no. We're, it has nothing. It has something to do with them, but it has nothing to do with them. Okay, we're talking about I, the motherfuckers that's speaking, trying to make sure that they're not part of that by what okay, they're saying. When you I, realize, I say, I say that to say this, homie. I say that for a reason because you know, like I said, when we come on here and we utilize our platforms, we gotta be aware of what we say, how we say it. Especially myself, being the fact that I'm in that inner circle. In front of that entertainment field, it's like it's a curse to me, good and bad. You know what I mean? It's like I ain't supposed to voice my opinion as a man, and I'm entitled to my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what kind of shit is that? But you're you're allowed to voice your opinion openly. No, nah, fuck all that. Okay. So now going going into the little yachty, yachty, whatever the little funny ass looking weird looking fucker name is, to answer your question, D, moving on to that. Um, bro. When I heard that shit two weeks ago, I all I could do was just shake my head and just just throw my hands up in the air like this generation, man. Is, and I and I don't want to keep I I don't want to keep oppressing them. Like we 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 lead the conversation solely on this generation, this generation. It's just it's a generational gap right now, and it's not our fault, my fault, your fault, his fault that it's that way. It's Society has made it that way. It's a generational gap. So I don't want to be like, you know, I'm being biased. Like we just specifically talking about that this specific generation. But hell, let's be let's be factual here, man. You know, let's let's be really modest here that this generation has got out of hand when it comes to a lot of the bullshit that's taking place and partaking in our world, man. We it's certain shit we just didn't do in our generation. Every generation, start from the beginning, from the first generation of our big homies. For me. Bill being Bill, Bill being from where you coming from, D you being from Detroit, from where you come from, there was the first generation before us. Feel me? So before us was our first generation. When that first generation arose and came, our first generation did drugs. They smoked angel dust. Our big homies smoked angel dust. They smoked Sherman and they popped red devils. But it wasn't a community vest thing. Feel what I'm saying? It wasn't a trend. It wasn't like, oh, everybody in the first generation did it. Everybody. It was the thing to do. It was just popping. No, bro. It was selective. It was by choice, by those who chose to do it selectively. Then here comes the second generation, us. We come along. We pick up the baton from the big homies for us, the street code, the street G code, and the street ethics, feel me, and the street rules. And we took the shit. And we added our flavor to it as well, but sticking with the protocol that they gave us, and we added ours to it, and it became even more volatile in our generation. Feel me? Again, we had the drugs because we we got hit harder because we got hit with the crack epidemic. Right. We talking about now the 80s. We talking about the Ronald Reagan years now. So we got hit with the crack epidemic. We had the heroin, the crack, Sherman, and the angel dust, feel me, and the pills. But again, it was all done selectively by choice. It wasn't no fucking trend. You know what I'm saying? Right. So our last of that generation, which was our third generation, the little homies up under us, 
was our last. And this go for every neighborhood in Los Angeles and every neighborhood across the state, bro, across the board, period, by coast. It don't matter what hood you from. This is true facts. First, second, and third generation. After that third generation, we became a gap. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh on down and up right now, it became a splendid gap, bro. The third generation was the last generation that took the baton, took the rules, took the standards, took the morals and the principles that was embedded in them because they watched us just like we watched our big homies. And they took it and they did it just like we did it, but added some of their flavor to it and ran with it. After that, when that fourth and fifth stepped in, they did a John Gotti move on the G code when it came to the streets and when it came to society, when it came to the morals and the principles and the values and the teaching and the guidance that was planted out here for us, bro, for us to grow. Now, and not pause, now pause on that for a second. I just want to include this in there. In that generation where you're talking about, that was when the world fucking changed with that generation because well, social me that. media and the internet and all that shit was going into the I'm riding that, Bill. I'm riding to that. Okay. So getting to that generation gap, right? And um, so now we have this generation gap. So all these things that are transpiring and happening now in this new era, in this new generation, and we look at it like, oh, this shit is, oh, but think about it. When we were coming up, because I know for a fact, when I was in them streets and I was terrorized and I was doing the shit I was doing, elder, elderly people and other people used to call me a devil. They used to call me crazy. They used to call all a lot of us crazy because the shit we did was insane. The shit we did was radical. It wasn't, it wasn't no different than what's being done today, but a certain difference because we still act out of violence. We still act out of body talk. Our shit was violent. It was body talk. But the difference was we act out of meaning. We act out of purposes. We didn't just move to act because niggas was high, out of blown out of mind. Every gang member, every soldier that woke up in the morning, we got a styrofoam cup in our hand with some tight ass pants on and we strolling around because we hot. We had a different era, bro. We had rules. You get your shit beat up. You get your shit spent being a dope fiend. And you talking about you from the set. You get your wig fucked off. You're talking about you from the set and you on drugs. We didn't play them games. We had discipline amongst ourselves. We had rules amongst ourselves. So that's why gang members wasn't dope fiends and drug addicts because we wouldn't allow the shit in our generation. You feel know what I'm saying? So every generation goes through that experience of you know, their portion of different things. It just so happened now, we in a position of where the world and the globe has transpired and took a total change of us globally, not just our neighborhoods, not just the city of Los Angeles, everywhere globally, took a total change on us for the worst, not the best, for the worst. And it's only getting worse. It ain't gonna get better. It ain't gonna change where we, as black folks, oh, I see, oh, I see life. I see the light for us, man. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful at the end of the road. The only way that'll happen is we get our shit together, period. And I say we, I don't care about no other ethnic group listening right now to this podcast who's tuning in. Uh, there's no disrespect, no matter in that aspect. It's not got nothing to do with racism. It's about a black lost culture in this world that we call Earth now that we're speaking on. And we are entitled to that because that's who we are. We are from that black culture. We are black kings. We come from that culture. We come from that era. We come from those genes. We come from that demise of and, and been in embedded slavery. And we still are allowing ourselves to be embedded in slavery mentally. Feel me? And now we are even embedded in the shit even more physically now. Well, how, how's that, Cap? How the hell are we? How are we slaves? Man, shit, I'm free as a bird. No, you ain't. You getting welfare money? Then you ain't free. You getting aid from the government? Then your ass ain't free. You get you 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 count on this shit? Then shut your jack ass up talking about you free. You ain't free. You ain't even allowed your mind to escape and be free. You ain't even you ain't even. Uh, allowed yourself to say, let me exclude and get rid of all the Americanized shit that they have taught us the wrong way to give myself some mental freedom. Feel what I'm saying? So taking us back to that question, D, about the fucking nail polish. Shit is despicable, man. And it's like, how dare you, a male, a male, this is a man, you're supposed to be in the category of a man. But then you taking our young soldiers, our young kids, our young sons, 14, 13, 12, 
ain't even started yet. They just begun. And you tell them, fuck your daddy, man. You ain't you ain't gotta be a heterosexual. You ain't gotta be solid. You ain't gotta have a big old chest. Yep. Hit some titties. Hey, hey, that's putting us back another put thirty-five years. Yeah. It's like, no, man. At, at, at what at what at some point in our life in this world, this corrupted world we in, when do we get a chance to or when do our kids get a chance to say yay or nay or grow? We grew up as kids, bro. We didn't see this shit. It was tough to it, for us, bro, to see something it's like it was like, ooh, feel me? Like, ooh, it wasn't normal. Right. And it was tucked away, it was hidden, and it was respectable from the communities because we didn't have to deal with it. We didn't see it. Now it's like you're in a society where you got to deal with it, bro. And I woke up this morning, and I mean this literally. I woke up this morning, man, and I got up. It was six thirty, no, about six twenty-five when I when I first raised up, and I, every when I when I raised out of bed, I talked to Allah immediately. I started talking to Allah, say my prayer, and I. My mind will start rotating on my program, should I have to do, should I have already set up and strategize for the day, whether it be via meetings or auditions or going to the penthouse, getting work in, whatever my program is, that's my routine. Then I cut on my, my morning prayer, start listening to that while I'm moving around. But when I come up this morning, homie, I just, I don't know, Bill, but indeed, it was like, I just, 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 this cloud, this bright cloud was just over my head. Like, I said, damn. And it was hot as shit already this morning when I got up, because you know, I'm in the hills, so it's smoking hot. And I'm like, fuck, man. And I just woke up and I said, damn, bro. I said, the world, the globe really fucking changed. The world really changed, homie. And what really made me snap to say the world really changed is because I said, my fucking hood really changed. The turf that I once was dedicated, devoted my life to, gave 29 years of active fucking duty in the streets. You can prime me out the project. It's like, oh no, what's outside these projects? Ain't no other world outside these motherfucking projects. This is the world right here. You couldn't prime me for that shit. When I used to think that way, mentality wise, bro, and to, and, and to wake up this morning and realize, homie, it's crazy how you allow your mind to be entrapped and not fulfilled from a lot of things by enduring your mind to set in one situation, one position, that's the hood, the block, or, or the impossible. Like I was telling you earlier about how we don't take chances because we think they're possible. Right. So I really, really realized today, just, and I've, I've always, I've known this for some years now by seeing it transpire, but really today, it really, really hit me, homie, like this shit really changed on us. The world globally has really changed. And not only the world, the fucking people in it including the people that from our first generation, second generation, third generation that we know, the people that we once knew that were solid, good people, real people. This shit has changed, dog, on us tremendously. Male, females, it changed, homie. So what do you do? I can't save the globe. I can't stop a lot of shit. I can be angry as hell, a lot of stuff I see, but I can't stop it. So what I have to do, I have to become acceptance to a lot of this shit. And I say, do I? And I said, well, Nino, you remember, you chose a life of set careers and a path that comes with certain rules and regulations that you don't stand for or stand by. You chose a life and a path of a career and entrepreneurship that it's certain rules that comes with that behind closed doors that you choose not to abide by. So it's like your path that you strive for as far as your stardom and your success and your completeness is different from others because you choose that path of righteousness. You choose that path to better look at these two kings right here on this podcast and all three of us look at one another in the eye and clown and talk that shit to one another because we know we real men, we solid kings and we solid to our kids and our kids, our sons if we got sons. No, my daddy's a man. He ain't no, he ain't no funny, he ain't no fugazi, he ain't none of that shit. You feel me? He ain't sold his heart out. You know, I. I couldn't, when I, when I told my homies I was going to Hollywood and tackle Hollywood, I meant that shit. When I told the homies I was leaving Nixon, I'm finna go, go to Hollywood and change the game. I'm finna go to Hollywood, go to H. Wood. I'm tackling Hollywood. I didn't go to H. Wood and let H. Wood tackle me. Right. It was never my intentions. So that's why I never got starstruck in this shit. I've been in the game 20 years now and counting. I never got caught up because I never 
allow myself to be invading the privacy of who I really am as far as that man. I came in the game with the street mentality. First of all, I'm out the Nixon guard. Uh, so, are you, are you Jay, 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 Jay,